Welcome to the August Indian Wedding Fat Fiber Sampler Box Preview Video. This month we have beautiful golds, beautiful silks, um, purples, blues, all the wonderful colors of a, we a wedding that is in India. Um, this right here is where Denny and I got married, so I just thought it would be kind of fitting that the weather was so beautiful that we could have our preview video down here by the creek. Like the new do? I absolutely love this theme. It was inspiring in so many ways. I did bats for this theme for my own shop, and um, we've got all kinds of wonderful fibers. Some people did include sari silk, other people decided to include tussa silk or other silks, and I thought that was really fun. We've got sparkles, and um, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. Also, I should be working on um, another show and tell video here in the next little bit. Maybe even today I'll work on it some. And um, I can show you what I've been up to in the last couple of months. So let's get started. I absolutely love these samples. And here we go. Winemaker's sister sent us these beautiful Indian inspired stitch markers. And they've got a large ring on them. So these would be great for some of your bulky yarns or hand spun. And there's different beautiful colors. Check out the, see if I can get that close. Oof, maybe. The color on that is so fun. Love the way it moves with the light. But I think these are such pretty stitch markers. Ganesh. I don't know that guy. Spuda. 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 <laughs> Not Spuda. Buddha. It is Buddha. Enunciate. Spuda. And this is the Indian god Ball. <laughs> no. Wild Time Art sent in this beautiful bat. She titled this Indian wedding dress. Of colors. This pretty. Orange and everything. Orange. Not orange, but orange. And it's got so much beautiful sparkle and color in it. Look at those colors. So fun. Um, she has Merino, Tussa Silk, Cory Cross, Fire Star, and Angelina in there. And you can just see all of those beautiful sparkles and colors that will come through. And she has one of her customers that just can't get enough of sparkle, and she thought of her when she made this. So she added um, both types of holographic Angelina, plus some um, decal Angelina, which is really sparkly. Absolutely love it. And then the fire star on top of that. Girl with a Sword, Maggie sent us these really fun and beautiful samples of her hand spun yarn. And she didn't include the fiber content, but you can see there's some shine in there and wool and I love that it's thick and thin. There's so much you can do with this yarn and um, I think this would make a really fun snowboarding hat is what I keep thinking of. But I love her hand spun yarn. It's so beautiful. I should have known that it wasn't Lux because I didn't see any bagels. Kitty Minecraft sent us these braids that were inspired by her friend's wedding in India, Ronnie. So she titled these Ronnie's Wedding, and they've got beautiful gold Stellina all throughout, dark black, along with some golden, blue and red. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. And I like how the Stellina will sometimes dye just a little bit, so it won't always just be a gold color. This in the blue, it's kind of a bluish sparkle in there. I like that a lot. There's a lot of that sparkly stuff in there. Sparkly. Sparkly. Yes. Then they braided it. Spent all the time making it and then you braided it. Kitty Minecrafts. Kitty Minecrafts. No kitties in it. I hope they're liking their new house. You finally got to see it. Mm hmm. Even though we didn't go to the party. Even though you left me on the porch <laughs> for like an hour. Half an hour. They were busy being fibery. 
And there's a box, a very sparkly box. Jaeger and yarn. Jaeger and yarn. Catherine sent in these beautiful Indian inspired stitch markers with a little purple jewel on each one. And I love the tops that she chose to these. Let's see if I can get that a little closer to the camera. Sometimes I do all right with this. Love the, the way she put these together. I think they're so fun and sparkly. Laughing Lamb sent us banana fiber samples this month. And it's such a fun fiber. It's really silky and beautiful. It's soft, shiny. Um, they say that it has silk-like properties and that it's strong and lightweight. It absorbs as well as releases moisture very quickly. And banana fiber is great with mixing with other wools to both strengthen and give it sheen. It does. It feels it feels really strong, but at the same time soft. It glides right through my hands. I don't know how... Um, let me pull back just a little bit. It feels like... If you were to just spin it as it is, it would draft out pretty nicely. Is it actually from a banana? Mm -hmm. Doesn't smell like a banana. Do people dye this? Mm -hmm. And they blend it with other stuff. Lutheran Fiber Arts sent us these beautiful roll eggs that she titled Indian Wedding. And they have um, pink and teal and purple fuchsia, all kinds of beautiful colors in them. She sent us a sample woven and a sample spun, so we can see what it looks like spun up. And these are made with Corydale, Soft Silk, and Angelina. So they've got that Soft Silk in there that is a very bright bit of silk, but it's also nice and easy to spin. It's not difficult to spin like some silk can be. Woven. Woven. Spun. Spun. Roll egg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not sticky. Designs by Tammy sent us um, stitch markers with this same pattern and some other mandala-like patterns. And this one's a necklace for the super box. So I thought it was such a fun and pretty choice that she sent us. But her stitch markers are, they're a, a small to medium size ring, and um, they have some of these similar mandala-like patterns on them. Oops, let's see if I can, there we go. I think they're really pretty and fun. The stitch markers are like necklaces for your yarn anyway. Mm -hmm. Christy at Shiny Briny sent us these little bats this time that have um, Sari Silk, Angelina, and merino in them. Super soft. There's also tussa silk in here. I know she said that there was tussa silk as well. And um, super fluffy, but also give you some of that texture to give you a little more of an art, art yarn quality, which is kind of fun and different to get to experience. If you like spinning art yarns, this would be perfect for that. I think it would also felt quite beautifully as well. Which I know some of our customers are looking for. Shiny Briny. She was at the wedding too. I didn't marry her. That's a pretty purple. Oops, tripped on a root. Angelica at Shades of Light sent us these beautiful little skeins that are silk and superwash merino. And she titled these ones Blue Indian Wedding. And she said these are a three, a two to three needle. So fingering weight, super beautiful and soft, and I love that shimmer of the silk in there. I think these would knit up really beautifully. And I love the combinations with just a little bit of the green in there, orange, along with all the different blues. Shades of light. Yarn. She spun a yarn. It's bright blue. That's pretty. Kind of like Blue Hawaii, but without Elvis. Gail at Plum Crazy Fiber Arts sent us these Cormo locks that she hand dyed in all kinds of bright and brilliant, beautiful colors. So much fun, and they're soft and fluffy, and I think they would be definitely a lot of fun to spin. There's some that have a tiny little crimp, 
and then some that are looser crimp. These can be spun right from the cloud or if you wanted to card them a little bit or um, put them in on your um, blending board and put them with some other fibers. These would just be a fun, very vibrant, bright mix that you can include. Oh, that's bright stuff. All kind of bright colors. Plum Crazy Ranch. And this is... Lox? Ah! Queen Conch Rare Breed Fibers sent us these beautiful um, little twists of Raimi and Silk. So it's 50-50 and it's um, Raimi and Japanese Silk. And she said that um, this is amazing combination for hot, humid weather, like in South Florida where she's at. Raimi is stronger when wet. It's more... Um, the more it's worn and washed, the more beautiful it becomes. So when you mix it with the strength of the silk, it becomes the perfect blend. So she has this listed in her shop, and she can do this either 100% Raimi or 100% silk. And she called it Indian Festival on her shop. I thought it was really beautiful, and it's so soft. I think it would be really fun to see how this spins up. I'd love for one of our customers to show us how this spins up. Bristle Ridge Alpaca sent us these beautiful silk hankies this month. They're all hand dyed and um, if you haven't worked with silk hankies, they're actually really fun to spin. You can put your finger right in the center and gently pull it, put a hole in it and pull it and pull it and pull it until you've drafted it out until the fineness of the yarn that you want is drafted out all the way into a long roving. You pull it apart in one spot and then you can spin it. So if you haven't spun silk hankies, I think they're one of the more fun ways to spin silk. And of course it's sticking to my hands because they're all dry today. Silk hanky. It's fiber, it's not really a hanky, is it? They're called a hanky. What makes it a hanky? It's a silk cocoon that's been stretched out into a square. Oh. In the shape of a hanky. Hmm. <laughs> it's very nice. It's sticking to me though. That must have been one big worm. Could you do this? Because it's sticking. Fiber Quirks sent us some of her Wonderland Through the Looking Glass series. And this one she called Beamish Boy. And I really was excited about this bright and deep yellow. I can't resist her Wonderland series. She captures the colors that I imagine in such a beautiful way. I love that. Do you want me to open it? No, I got it. <laughs> that is pretty. Monica at Gloria Patre sent us in these cute little sheep with a lobster claw. So you can use them as a stitch marker, mark the front and back of your work. You could even use them as a zipper pull. So cute and fun. And these bright fuchsia buttons, I just dig that color so much. And a bit of chocolate for each person too. They're so cute. And a sheep. <laughs> Very cute sheep with some kind of hooky thing. So you could make it a zipper pull or you could use it as a stitch marker. Oh. You could do all kinds of fun stuff with it. I like the ears. I got some chocolate. Thank you. The woolly lion sent us these beautiful little hand spun skeins. Look at that color, so lovely. Um, these are hand-dyed, hand-spun from raw merino and mohair. And um, it also includes silk, tinsel, and firestar, which gives it all that beautiful shimmer that we love. I thought these were such a fun little skein, and they reminded me of all the silk saris that you see in India. Such a pretty combination of colors and um, sparkle. From raw merino and mohair. Also, sink tinsel and tin, 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 tinsel and fire star. Got all max headroom with it. Look, sunshine. 
Wonderland Fiber. I know her. She was at my wedding. <laughs> it was sort of the whole point. These little bats are from my shop, Wonderland Fiber, and um, they are 18 micron merino with some tinsel and some Angelina sparkle in there. I had a lot of fun putting these together, and um, the full size bat will be um, double these colors. So purple, green, red, and purple, green, red again. So they're so fun. And you can get these um, in bats or Rolex. You can also do a blend your own in my shop. I just had fun putting them together and I love these colors. I called these Indian Wedding Celebration because I also did an Indian wedding bat for the um, collaboration box. Look, and if you don't want to use it for anything else, it's a headdress for a smurf. Don't you mean a troll? <laughs> troll! It's a headdress for a troll. Doodle Fibers sent in these yummy bats. And these ones she called Very Sorry. And they have um, merino recycled sari silk threads, eerie silk, bamboo, and fire star. So they're just bursting with color and luxury fibers. They're super soft. And fluffy. She sent in um, another set that's called Not Even Sorry, and they have um, roll eggs in them. So they're very fun, and they have different silks in them without having sorry silk in them. So whether you're a, a fan of sorry silk or you're not, you've got options. Tara from the Dying Arts sent us yarn and fiber. These are in a colorway called Sorry Not Sorry. This is Fabulous Top with gold Stellina in it. It has superwash merino and nylon. And this is Fabulous Fingering Weight. And it has superwash merino, nylon, and silver Stellina in it. Absolutely love these colors. Look at that. I'll show you this. Super, super soft. I love this top. And I think it would spin up so beautifully. Let's, let's unwind it a little and look at these colors. Look at all those beautiful colors in there. The sun's pretty bright today. Hopefully the color doesn't wash out because it is so dark and beautiful and well dyed. Look at those colors. Gary Lynn sent in these patterns. It has two patterns on it for the wedding stole and scarf. And she also included these in our collaboration box that's still on the um, in our big cartel shop and that kit includes these yarns so um, if you wanted to get the whole set you could do that these are size 8 knitting needles size H crochet hook and she used fingering weight yarn this was a it's called an Indian cross stitch which I thought was kind of fun yeah Indian cross stitch and it's really fun the way that it crosses itself and that stitches in both patterns. It's a little harder to see in the photo of the the red than it is in the gold. But I really, I love this pattern. I think it's so fun. Gary Lynn did this cool pattern, but it is so big, I can't lift it. And it's so cool, I can't bear to look at it for more than a minute. So you'll have to be surprised. Claire at the Hippie Homemaker sent us these undyed um, BFL tops. They're super fluffy and soft. They would be really fun to spin as they are or to dye them up. She also included a chai tea in each one. I thought that was really fun and they're super fluffy. Stacy at Full Circle Artworks did another little sampler like she's been doing where you get several examples of the fibers that are available in her shop and um, including with this one some bright little sequins which would be so fun to spin in there um, she called this one Overture and it has a saffron yellow this is superwash merino, rose fiber, bamboo, tinsel, faux cashmere the hot pink is Falkland wool the cherry red is Corydale cross the royal blue is Chavoy Chavoit? The, the green Yellow green, she called it, is Perindale wool. And then she's got some recycled 
Sari Silk pulled rovings, which I've always wanted to play with, but I've never purchased any, so this would be a, a fun chance to experience a new fiber for me. And then, of course, the sparkles. And um, she has these available as sets in her shop, and the sets are a little bit bigger than this, so you could buy more to go along with your sample. And Stacy included an extra sample, so I'll be spinning my sample up, and I can share that with you guys um, when I do my show and tell video. Indian wedding. <laughs> Don't you want to do a yoga pose? Indian wedding. Since I can't dance Bollywood, this is your display. <laughs> Welcome to August. You want this box. In this, I'll link all the shops below that are in this video. Um, one lucky person will win the super box, and that's everything that you saw in the video, plus any little extras that I have around. Candy. That will be given away on Ravelry when the next box drop happens. So we pull a winner each month after the next box goes on sale. We're doing giveaways on our blog right now. They will end on Saturday at 6 p.m. after the, the last box goes on sale. So make sure and enter all the giveaways. There's all kinds of fantastic stuff in the giveaways. So join us. Next month we will have, oh, next month is Pirates and Their Treasure. And I've already received some samples for that box and you're gonna love it as much as I do. It's super fun and sparkly. <laughs> I absolutely love that I can share all of these wonderful samples with you guys. I love that the fiber community is so big and fun to share with and be a part of. Thank you so much. Have a good one.